G'day Bob, what's the story with this finch and what sort of finch have you brought me? Uh, it's an Aberdeen hen, she's uh, wasting away so she's uh, got a very uh, noticeable keel bone down the front. Well, I think Aberdeen's pretty rare in Australia aren't they? Probably down to the last uh, half a dozen pure pairs I think. Gee. Okay, um, and how long has she been wasting away that you know of? Probably the last uh, week I would think. Right, uh, okay. Alright. Let's get a sample. Um, okay. I'm just going to smear this bit of poop out here. And it's very obvious to me, um, and it may, be, may or not be obvious to those uh, watching on the camera, but in that poop there's lots of undigested food. We can see fragments of seed and um, um, seed fragments there that haven't been ground up into a fine paste. Right. Okay. So when we find that sign in the bird's droppings, we can see that the white part of the droppings is bright white, um, not yellow. So the white is still snowy white, so that points away from the liver being the main organ involved. And the undigested seed coming through in the droppings points towards there being a problem in the gizzard area of the bird. That's the grinding stomach part, either the glandular stomach and or the grinding stomach. And the things that immediately come to mind, three things immediately come to mind as things that I'll be looking for first. One is megabacteria. Mm -hmm. which is um, actually a, a, a fungal infection, a gastric yeast, Macrorabis ornithogaster, if you want to know the fancy name of it. Um, the next one is gizzard worms. Right. And the third one is simple lack of sand grit, insoluble grit, as distinct from shell grit in the gizzard, so that there's not enough teeth in the gizzard, that the sand grit acts as the bird's teeth, grinding away the seed fragments. But the seed fragments are passing through the gizzard into the intestine, causing inflammation in the intestine. Um, and there's such a small surface area for the bird to absorb nutrients from. So it's not getting its nutrients out of the food. Okay. So that's at a, phys at a gross level. So we're now going to go to the microscope um, and see what I find under there. All right? Okay. So my next step is to add some water to this, just to make up a suspension. Uh, so I can make a smear of liquid that I can see through. I need to make it quite thin, otherwise you're just looking through huge chunks and you can't see much through the chunks. So I'm looking at the spaces in between the, the big chunks and I'm making a smear that's fairly thin. Right? Most people want to look at thin smears that are too thick. Anyway, I'm going to look for megabacteria, uh, worm eggs and a few other things in this smear and then we'll come back to you. Okay, right, so 